My name is Macario Gallegos, and I lead technology here at Hard Rock. And I'm going to talk to you today about three things. One, I'm going to tell to you about tell you about some things with regards to Hard Rock that you might not already know. Maybe dim the lights a little bit. Uh, second of all, I'm going to talk to you about why companies are using AI and data to transform customer experience for their customers. And lastly, I'm going to give you an example of how Hard Rock did just that. So who is Hard Rock? 200 plus locations, 70 plus countries. We are the brand that loves to have and create fun. So whether you're in Las Vegas or New York City, the beaches of Cabo San Lucas, here in Hollywood, Florida. We are that brand that is very well known and a global powerhouse. Those 200 assets across those 70 plus countries, some are cafes, some are hotels, some are casinos. We also have an e-commerce business where those of you who didn't have an opportunity to get a hat can go buy one. Not many brands have so many experiences to offer their customers in so many places. 200 plus locations, 70 plus countries, multiple languages, multiple currencies. Can you imagine how many hundreds of systems it takes to connect to drive our business? That is the beauty of the partnership that we have with WSO2. That is the beauty of the platform. It literally helps run our business. The second point was why companies are using data and AI to transform customer experiences. First of all, customers want to engage with their brands in the same manner and via the same method that they talk to the people that matter most to them. Everything is conversational. Everything is being done on a mobile device. The rise of AI and automation is taking all of us, taking our world by storm. For instance, what we recently did is we took a pretty arduous process and looked at the data. We said, hey, when customers are in our hotel, what are they calling customer care for? Why are they going down to the front desk? What is it that they need most frequently? And how can we take that experience and make it better? And some of the upcoming slides, I'm going to tell you how we did that. And lastly, why are companies using data and AI to transform customer experience? Because digital transformation will be a key part of every enterprise global powerhouse going forward. What do I mean by that? Look, I'm 50 in a little bit. I don't like to say my age. We'll just leave it there. I'm 50 in a little bit. I still like to talk to people. When I have a problem with my insurance, I'll call USAA. I want to talk to a person. If I have a problem with my cell phone, I'm calling Verizon. I actually still want to talk to a person. My son, on the other hand, he's nothing like me. He doesn't want to talk to people. He'll use chatbots, he'll use frequently asked questions, he'll use self-help tools and everything in between. My point is, the customer of the future is going to expect us to meet them in a digital world. And these are the reasons why enterprise companies are using AI and data to transform customer experiences. Now let me introduce you to our good friend, Rody, our digital conversational concierge. Rody had one purpose when we designed this thing, to make all of you, 
all of our customers feel like a VIP. Rody is frictionless, meaning as opposed to standing in a line, Rody can help you get out of that line and feel like a VIP. Rody is intuitive. You can talk to Rody just like you do your friends and family and the people that matter most to you. And lastly, everything about Rody is hard rock. It has one purpose to make your experience while you are here better. What can it do for you? First of all, you can change your reservations. You can extend your reservations. So I think this conference ends uh, Thursday. Any of you want to stick around for the weekend? Rody can help with that. What else can you do? It could handle day-to-day -day housekeeping and or room requests. Why is that important? I was in Napa a couple of weeks ago and stayed at a pretty cool hotel. The only thing was, the hotel only offered housekeeping via request. Via request only. So what did that mean? That, mean when I, that means when I wanted room service, I had to either visit the front desk, call the front desk, or track down one of the housekeeping agents throughout the building so that they could turn my room while I went and explored the city. That's a pretty arduous process. Rody can help with that. Whether you need more towels, whether you need to fix a leaky faucet, or whether you want your room cleaned, you can do all that through Rody. Spa reservations. A lot of you said you were in the casino last night. Those of you who were rolling dice, playing blackjack, or pulling a slot machine, and you'd like to massage that arm at the end of a hard days of work. <laughs> Rody can help with that too. What else can Rody do? Here's something to think about. Absent our food court, we have four restaurants here on property. And by my math, there's at least 350 to 400 people here this year for this conference. What do you think the hostess line is going to look like at 5 o'clock after this uh, session? You can skip the line with Rody. Rody will make every one of you feel like a VIP. Now, I see some of you in the back pulling your phones out. Stay with me. <laughs> I'm almost done. I'm going to take uh, QA after this. Which, by the way, I'm going to take QA after this, and I'm glad folks like Andre and Mosin are here. Because if you guys have a lot of technical-related questions, we might go out into the field as I phone for some help. Uh, Andre and Mosin are both part of the Hard Rock IT team, and they're both here in the audience, as are others. So we can book diamond. So what's next? What's next for Rody? Soon, you will be able to book show tickets. That's one of the things we have in mind from Rody. Soon, you will receive special offers and or uh, promotions because you are engaging with and using tools like Rody. Maybe someday, Rody will actually fetch your car for you from Valet. This is an example of how Hard Rock uses AI data every day to transform our business. And this is why a partner and a platform like WSO2 is crucial to our success. Because as we're adding on and connecting other capabilities, it's a platform like WSO2 that makes that all possible. So I want to thank all of you for visiting our property this week. I hope you continue to stay with us and play with us. And uh, while you're on property, give Rody a shot and let us know what you think. I'm happy to take questions at this time from anyone in the audience.
I should say, me and my CTO, Andre, are happy to take any questions from the audience. <laughs> any questions? Yes, ma'am. Hopefully someone will bring you a microphone. Hi. <clears throat> my name is Silvia. <clears throat> um, a question about Rodi. Uh, is it based on Gen AI, or you are beginning with the simple chatbot, and then you are going to move forward? Uh, it's a little bit of both. Um, so now we did use, great question, by the way. Now we did use all of that data that I talked to you about, which was, um, hey, what are the most frequently asked questions that our customers are either calling the front desk, going down to the front desk, or you know, picking up the phone in their room to request services? We took all that data and we said, hey, look, 25 to 30 of these we could solve without ever having a human interaction. And by the way, we do that for one reason. That means the people at the front desk, that means the people who actually need to speak with someone can deliver even better service because there's less demand on them. That's why we did it. The second part to your question is true, and it's where we're likely going in the future, where Rody begins to understand all the other items we know about you and suggest items based off of your preference and what we know. We're not there now, but that's the plan to go there in the future. Yes, hopefully that answers your question. Any other questions? Yes. Hello. Hi. <laughs> um, how kind of WSO2 products do you use for Rodi? And uh, how do you handle the ETL process and data enrichment and some stuff? So the ETL process, the data management, I'm going to actually go to Andre and help access that or answer that for us. But what I would tell you with regards to Rodi, as well as many of our other products, uh, which is, this is a shameless plug for our new uh, loyalty platform, Unity. Uh, all of you today, if you get a chance, Google uh, Come Together, Unity, and Hard Rock. That's an introduction to our new loyalty platform that's only been around for about a year and a half to two years. It's connected 200 countries, or 200 of our assets. We just launched it publicly in terms of a branding perspective. And a lot of those capabilities with Unity, as well as others, are how we use the WSO2 platform. That's the first part of your question. The ETL, the transfer, and some of those other questions, you'll have to answer it, it or ask it again, and I'll let Andre take your second question. Did I, I heard the question. Hi, everybody. Um, so Hard Rock uses many integration and authentication platforms. Uh, when you think about Hard Rock Macario, you mentioned three lines of businesses, hotels, cafes, casinos. We have many other lines of businesses as well. In order to run this business, we need to connect tens of thousands of systems. When you think about the slot machines in this casino alone, there's thousands of slot machines that we have to connect to that. When you sit down, you put in your loyalty card, your Unity card, we know who you are. That slot machine knows who you are. So we use WSO2 to connect the entire world, tens of thousands <clears throat> of systems all over the world. It is a big part of how Rody understands who the person is, how Rody helps you make uh, dining reservations and so on. Um, but WSO2 is a key part of that. We're not doing authentication yet with Rody, but we will in the future, and we're going to use WSO2 for that. Thank you, Andre. Hopefully that answers your question. I'll take a couple more. So I've got a question. Um, do you turn any of the AI, whether it's uh, you know chatbots or anything, internally to your employees and use it, or is it currently, it may not be Rody, but only outward facing towards your uh, that's a, customers? That's a really great question. Um, in my experience, um, tools like AI are very much like mm, maybe social media was two decades ago. And here's what I mean by that. Um, two decades ago, enterprise companies knew they should be using social media, but no one really knew how and the usefulness of it. Could we monetize it? How could it best serve our business? AI is kind of the same way today. We all read about it every day. We know we should be doing more of it. The use cases aren't always as easy. But I'll give you one more in answer to your question that we're using back of house, because the real answer to your question is we're doing both. We have AI on some front-facing capabilities, but we're also using it back of house. And one of them is in Andre's team. We used to do 
testing and QA solely by an in-person methodology. And what I know in the past six months, that team now uses AI to automate a lot of the testing. And I don't exactly know the numbers, Andre would, but we've saved a lot of time, effort, and resources by automating a lot of our test scripts with AI. That's the answer to your question. You're welcome. Yes, we have a question over here. Okay, this is about the RAG. Um, you provide real-time data to your consumers so that the system won't have any hallucinations. So you use vector embeddings and you get the accurate data. So have you used RAG, augmented data, in your LLMs? Yeah, we, we're not that advanced yet. We're not using that type of AI with the chatbot. Um, to answer the question, we're using live person behind Rody. We have other chatbots, we have other virtual assistants that we're using different technology, but we're using live person natural language processing, um, and we're basically training that chatbot. We're not, we're not subject to hallucina hallucinations right now because of how the technology that we use. Thank you, Andre. Welcome. I have a question regarding your e-commerce site. Uh, yes. Do you use WSO2 products there also? We, we, we do, uh, and that's built on the Salesforce platform. And we recently rebranded that, so uh, go take a look at it. Um, and, uh, and similar to some of our other capabilities, we plan on overlaying AI and making it a very personalized experience in the future. So that if we already know who you are and we know your preferences, then in the future, we will likely take you to the areas and the things that we know you would like uh, quicker. Yes, here in the front. How, how good is Rody at blackjack? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. I do not know the answer to that question. Uh, but give it a shot and let me know. How good are you at blackjack? We'll see tonight, yeah? <laughs> Love that guy. Beautiful answer. Thank you. Sorry if I missed it, but uh, how do we get to Rody? Is that an app, uh, the website? Yeah. Or? That's a great question. So uh, how many of you are checked into the hotel? OK. So at the front desk, as well as throughout your rooms, you'll see a QR code. And when you click on the QR code, you're going to consent to Rody being allowed to communicate with you. And that's how you'll be able to engage. I'll take one more. Thank you very much. And I think it was a very beautiful session. Um, my question will be the, the data side of things for you. OK. Um, the data side of things for? For, for Hard Rock. OK. What, what, what technology or what platform? Maybe the CTO will take this, Andre. Um, what tools are you using for the ETL pipelines? Where, but I mean, in terms of what platform do you put the data on? Are there actual things that you, to, that you use uh, in terms of curating your data that eventually feeds uh, the Rodi? Tools like Rodi and other capabilities. Yeah, you wanna, wanna take that one? Two mics here. <laughs> so Hard Rock has tons of different technology that runs the business and operations, as I mentioned. We do have SQL Server, we have Snowflake, we have Oracle databases. Um, we use SQL Server and SQL ETL tools. But at the end of the day, we have pockets of customer data that are all over the world. And so it makes it incredibly complex to provide a single seamless experience for our customers when they navigate across our hotels, our cafes, our casinos, um, our loyalty program, our many digital assets, right? We have 50 plus websites, we have many different um, app mobile applications, we have online casinos, online games, sports betting. So we have tons of pockets of data all over the world and we bring it all together with our integration platforms, including WSO2. Really well. um, yeah. I, th I think that answers your question. Yeah, it does, thank you. And that's very well put. Um, I, and, and I mentioned to you uh, Unity, which, uh, which is our new loyalty platform that, again, is connected to 200-plus assets today, cafes, hotels, casinos. 
um, and e-commerce, by the way. So if you're a Unity customer and you're earning points, buying food, uh, gaming, and or other amenities, you can actually go on that e-commerce site that the gentleman had the question about and utilize some of those value, or some of those points, some of that value uh, to buy, uh, to, to, to purchase Hard Rock swag. Um, my point was, prior to Unity, Hard Rock was a very, very mm, fragmented organization in the eyes of a customer. Because when you traveled from our cafes to a casino, we didn't know you. We didn't know you as that same Andre Gowans. Uh, and what was worse is if you played in our casino and went to the Hard Rock Shop website, the e-commerce site, we didn't know you. It was very, very fragmented. And that, over the past 18 to 24 months, has all changed. It's all connected. We now recognize you across our cafe, hotel, and casino business, and e-commerce business, and what's coming next is the sports betting business. We'll recognize you across all of our lines of business. Thank you so much, thank you so much. You're uh, welcome. So the natural question would be, describing what you've done within your ecosystem, doesn't it make sense to extend it to at all touch points within the funnel so you could uh, reach that consumer, and not necessarily with Rodi, but with similar technology, other technology, so it will be consistent, because what you're doing isn't within your ecosystem, correct? Yeah. And, and that's consistency. Yeah. There is nothing thinking of WSO2, and what I know, I think I know about WSO2, and what you've done to take it outside, correct? Yeah. And make it, is this something on your, on your plan or in your thoughts? Yes, it is, and 100% uh, to the gentleman's question, Rodi is an example of customer-facing uh, AI, customer-facing automation, using data to drive a better customer experience. But as I mentioned to you before, uh, the use cases are being developed every day. We're not only seeing what other light companies are doing with AI um, and, uh, and to see how they can transform their business, we're doing the same. And the real answer to your question is, look, in our VIP business, in our hotel business, in our cafe business, we're always thinking about how we can improve customer experience. How do we remove friction, remove the mundane, and get people in action and to having fun faster and for longer periods of time? That's what we're focused on. And none of those initiatives would be possible without the use of technology. That's the answer to your question. Again, welcome to Hard Rock Hotel, Casino and Hotel. Uh, we're extremely excited to have you. Uh, what I know is of all the WSO2 conferences in the past, this is one that most of us won't forget. Some of us might want to, but a lot of us <laughs> will not. Thank you so much for your time. <laughs>